paintings from SEAL Team 6 member Josh Harris, who died on a combat mission, have been winning fans and followers at the National Navy SEAL Museum in Florida. We brought you the story last week. Well, now that exhibit has proven so successful, it's been extended until the end of the year. Investigator Mac Mather went to Florida to get this story. On the field outside the Navy SEAL Museum last weekend, thousands watched what Navy SEALs do best, shoot guns, plummet from the sky, and trigger thunderous explosions. But when these spectators moved inside to the museum's new wing, they saw something entirely different. Surrounding the lifeboat where SEALs rescued a kidnapped captain and encircling the desert tan humvees, the walls were peppered with paintings created by a SEAL Team 6 member from Virginia Beach, paintings that were not discovered until after his death. I was really blown away by how people, how much they appreciate his artwork. Josh Harris died on a combat mission in 2008. Months later, his twin sister Kiki and his mother Evelyn discovered a hidden trove of paintings in the family barn. This year, the National UDT Seal Museum asked to display the work. And on Saturday, a record-setting crowd marveled at the talent. Josh's sister says this is the perfect place for her brother's art, a museum dedicated to the harder military edge of the Navy SEALs, but also shows the emotional side, the softer side, a side of Navy SEALs few people ever get to see. So proud and so honored to be his twin. It's just such an honor. It's, it's such an honor to have it there, that they would consider his art and, and, you know, want it there. And the admirers this weekend included a former presidential candidate, Ross Perot. This was to be the exhibit's final weekend, but it has proven so popular, museum officials asked for the art to stay through December. The Harris family gladly agreed. These are his medals, all of his medals that he has that we know about. But these are also his medals, you know, of his life. Reporting from Fort Pierce, Florida, Mike Mather, News Channel 3. New at 6.